Hello creepy crafters and today I have a happy meal video featuring paper cakes by Serena B and Viva Lane Studio Digital Stamps. So yeah, let's just get on with it. So firstly I'm working on the paper bag card and I'm just uh, inking up all the edges of the paper that I'm backing the bag on. And I do it off camera because it's a bit boring. <laughs> Did the first one on camera but the rest off camera. So now I'm just sticking down the pocket of the bag to make a pocket and putting the rest of the paper on. This paper, because the bag wasn't straight, I couldn't get the paper on straight which was quite annoying but it looked alright in the end. So I'm just using the papers from um, Paper Cake Spice Rena Bay's Spooky Pastel Collection and this was a word phrase um, from Viva Lane Studio which I printed off and then I coloured in with a pink Copic and some Wink of Stella over the top. This um, web that I'm putting on, to, on right now is actually a sticker from the Jeepers Creepers collection but I traced it in my silhouette and made it into a cut file and I absolutely love it. I'll be cutting a few more of them off for my future Halloween projects. So this little bat, I'll leave all the links to um, all the digital images I use in the description box as will I link all of the um, paper cakes products I use. And yeah, I already coloured up the images before I started filming because I'm not very good at colouring to be honest. I just I just colour and <laughs> no real technique to it and hope for the best and I keep the ones that look good and I don't keep the ones that don't look good. <laughs> oh god, you can tell I haven't done a voice over in a while. So now I'm just sticking down some um Puffy Hearts which is from the new Amy Tangerine line and a few bits of bling and I put the uh, little ghosty at the bottom on uh, some washi tape just to ground it and I spell out Boo Crew um, with just some gold foam alphas and I'm going crazy with the with the bling there's lots of bling and now I'm working on the front so I'm just going to uh, do some paper layering on top of a doily and yeah and I inked up all the edges on these papers as well this yellow bit of uh, cardstock is actually a journaling card from the spooky pastel collection and I coloured up my image already I think that ghost is so cute look how cute it is with its little heart on its head <laughs> so yeah that was my favorite image so I printed that one off large so I could put it on the front of this paper bag card and I'm just going crazy with the bling again and then I'm going to work on the back and I just layer some paper and a bit of white cardstock so I can write a message to whoever receives this on the front there and I also put some more ghost images. So the paper bag is like ghosty themed if you've not noticed. It's got full of ghosts and um, the next project is a pocket letter which is like trick or treat themed but you'll, you'll see in a moment. More bling went crazy with the bling. Now I'm just showing you that I was putting some images in an envelope, some bling, filling the bag up with some goodies for the receiver. So <clears throat> now I'm working on the pocket letter and this is my first little page. This little web I got in a add-on kit from the Spooky Pastel collection last year I think from Paper Cakes by Serena Bay. It was left over from last year and it went perfect on there. I'll just go ahead and ink up the edges there because they were clean. And look at this little mummy. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Absolutely love the images from Viva Lane Studio. They're so cute. 
So I'm just grounding the little mummy on some washi tape and I'm just using the Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive to stick everything down. The I'm in Stitches word phrase is from Serena Bay's collection. Oh, it's going fast and I'm moving on to the next one. I'm grounding my little ghosty on some washi tape. It's kind of the same process for each one. And I'm using mostly the word phrase stickers from Serena Bay's collections along with the ghosts. I can't believe how amazing um, Serena Bay's collections and Vera Lane Studio digital images go together. They just, they were made for each other. <laughs> so another little ghost to hear. I absolutely love the little ghosts. And the little candy corn guy on this one. Like I say, it's the same process for each one. And use a bit of washi tape to ground the image. Put a little word for your sticker on and call it done. And I'm using the Tombow Mono Liquid. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm using that glue for everything. And this is the little devil guy. Right, I call it a meant to be a devil. A cheeky little devil. And yeah. So I've just put the images on the actual pocket page so I can decorate the outside of the pocket letter with the bling and whatnot. It's nice to have things on the outside as well for so you can touch it. <laughs> that didn't sound creepy at all. So this skeleton you are my friend phrase is from the October night I think. And I'm using one of them cobwebs again. Like I said, it is was a sticker from the Jeepers Creepers collection, but I made it into a cut file on my silhouette. And he's the little pirate dude. So as you can see, everything's like little dudes dressed up for Halloween. So it's like a Halloween themed, trick or treating themed pocket letter. So like I, I've already went ahead and um made a shaker pocket and put washi tape on the side of the pocket page with a big purple brad now I'm just gonna go ahead and slip all my cards in I'm gonna use a little bit of washi tape which is from paper cakes by Serena Bay's shop I'll leave a link down below and here is a little keychain that I made years ago and it was just there so I thought it would be handy so I didn't have to make another one now I'm just using things from various other collections. That bow is from the Carousel Collection by Crepe Paper. And the Sweet is from Cute Girl Collection by Crepe Paper. And I just used a little bit of washi tape that says Trick or Treat on the bottom there. And now I'm just going to bling up the whole thing. I went crazy with the bling on this project. I'm just showing you the back there. And these bows from... Uh, the new carousel collection are amazing and I just made a little thing for the end of it and here's the close-ups guys thank you so much for watching and check out the description box for all the links down below and I'll see you in the next video bye